Taking question number 13 of exercise 2.2 of inverse trigonometric functions, we have been given to find the value of this expression. The expression is 10 of 1 by 2 times sine inverse of 2x upon 1 plus x square plus cos inverse of 1 minus y square upon 1 plus y square and it is the additional condition which is given to us so that this expression holds. Okay. So let us see how we are going to solve this question. Now to solve this question, first of all, what we are going to do, we are going to simplify these two expressions. Okay, if you have the knowledge of the formula for the inverse trigonometrical function, then this question is quite simple. But we are not going to make the use of the formula directly. But I am going to tell you how can we simplify them. Okay, so. First of all, I'm going to uh, take these two expressions separately and simplify them. And after that, we will see how this uh, question simplifies to the final answer. Okay, so taking sine inverse of 2x upon 1 plus x squared. So first of all, we are going to simplify this. Now, if I place x is equal to 10a, okay, here, then I get sine inverse of 2x upon 1 plus x square is equal to sine inverse of 2a upon 1 plus 10 square a and we know that this value is equal to sine 2a sine 2a is equal to 2 10 a upon 1 plus 10 square a so i can write this as equal to sine inverse of sine 2a or simply 2a but uh, i have to solve the answer in terms of x so i have taken x is equal to 10a so this means that a is equal to 10 inverse of x so this will be equal to 2 10 inverse of x right so this value solves out as equal to 2 10 inverse of x now taking this value cos inverse of 1 minus y square upon 1 plus y square okay now in this in this expression what i'm going to do i'm going to take y is equal to 10b okay so taking y is equal to 10b, I can write cos inverse of 1 minus y square upon 1 plus y square is equal to cos inverse of 1 minus 10 square b upon 1 plus 10 square b. And this can be written as equal to cos of 2b. So I get cos inverse of cos of 2b. So this is equal to 2b or I can write b as equal to 10 inverse of y because y is equal to 10b. So this gives me 2 10 inverse of y. Okay, now I've solved this expression as equal to 2 10 inverse of x, this as equal to 2 10 inverse of y. So I can write this expression as equal to, okay, 1 by 2 times 2 10 inverse of x plus 2 10 inverse of y. This 2 I can take common and cancel. So I'm going to get 10 of 10 inverse of x plus 10 inverse of y. So this will be equal to 10 of 10 inverse of x plus y upon 1 minus x y okay so which would be my required answer and uh, 10 inverse of x plus 10 inverse of y is written as equal to 10 inverse of x plus y upon 1 minus x y because it has been given x y is less than 1 okay so this is how i am going to solve this question and this would be my required answer taking question number 14 of exercise 2.2 from the chapter inverse trigonometric functions the question is if sine of sine inverse of 1 by 5 plus cos inverse of x is equal to 1 then find the value of x so we have to find the value of x from this equation okay so i can write first of all i'm going to take this equation and i can write this equation as equal to sine inverse of 1 by 5 plus cos inverse of x is equal to sine inverse of 1 that is i have taken sine on this side and written as sine inverse or you can also say that we have taken sine inverse of both sides okay so i'm going to get the equation like this now further i can write sine inverse of 1 by 5 is equal to sine inverse of 1 minus cos inverse of x okay this cos inverse of x is taken this side now sine inverse of 1 is equal to pi by 2 you can solve it 
in a proper manner also then you are going to get the same value as equal to pi by 2 or you can also write 1 as equal to sine of pi by 2 sine inverse and sine are going to cancel so you are going to get this as equal to pi by 2 so anyhow we can write the sine inverse of 1 as equal to pi by 2 and I am going to get the equation like this sine inverse of 1 by 5 is equal to pi by 2 minus cos inverse of x now I know this result sin inverse of a plus cos inverse of a is equal to pi by 2 or sin inverse of a is equal to pi by 2 minus cos inverse of a okay so using this result I can write pi by 2 minus cos inverse of x as equal to sin inverse of x so this implies that x is equal to 1 by 5 so which is my required answer okay now this question can also be solved by another method in which we are going to apply the, the formula of sine inverse of x plus sine inverse of y so this question becomes very difficult so here I have applied a tricky method to solve this question so keep it in mind that this question can also be solved by another method friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube HSK Shiksha and Math Help by HSK. Thank you.